stop throwing your me, even after this really wonderful introduction. Uh, shut up, I'm now an official uh, college diploma of healthcare graduate. That pretty piece of paper we just had says so. <laughs> um, so, like some of you, I, um, maybe most of you, I decided to start studying again at a later age. Moved here from Belgium, and um, I'm a graphic designer, so. The Diploma of Healthcare is pretty much the complete opposite direction of what I could do. Um, so I picked up my books again and came back to university, came to college. My mum would say this is a huge read, even though I would do everything, you should get your way from school, right? or school classes all together. <laughs> um, so, like, also, don't be mistaken, like, if you think this was an easy decision to do this again, um, my partner in the very back would love to tell you how many pros and cons went before this, <laughs> how many doubts, and how many times I faced when you can't do this, I can do this. But here I am. And to this very day, I still believe that I was trying to prove a point to my parents, to my family, like, I told you so. Uh, <laughs> I can do this, I got this. Um, and now I am. And all of you are, after. A whole year that, yes, has brought a lot of stress and a lot of stress eating kilos. <laughs> um, a severe lack of a relaxed private life and fun outside of studying. But not only have I got a degree out of this, no. This degree confirms that I found that passion, the career that the emotion. This is more fun. <laughs> <laughs> the career that ignites that fire in me, and the very career that makes me want to give the very best of me. So, other than that, I've also been privileged to share this year with the most wonderful people. Like I've met and I've been taught by teachers that speak and teach with such a passion that. It almost becomes contagious. Well, it does become contagious, not just almost. Teachers of the nursing profession and other healthcare professions that speak with such love and passion for their profession that they will only expect us to give the very best that we've got. And in full disclosure, I must admit we were very often positively reinforced by the chocolate and pizza. <laughs> 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 achieved in this past year would be possible if it were not for all of your help and the support and the time that you put in us. So thank you from the very bottom. Fellow students, I started out, I moved here not knowing anyone. I was very anti-social sitting at home, little back of phone on my computer, no social life whatsoever. And yeah, I didn't know any of you on day one. But we've got to know each other through group works, to the wonderful PAL <coughs> and student mentor uh, program that the College runs, through periods of mutual stress that we just pace back and forth and we're like, hey, you two, yes. <laughs> and now we are all here as friends, people with a common passion for the nursing careers that we are on our way to develop. I'm sorry if I can't address all of you as graduates for this, but I'm pretty sure you have found people that share the same passion for whatever the career is that you're working towards. And yeah. So we have finished our first year. Despite I was thinking a few months ago, I don't know how I'm gonna make this work. Good Lord, how I'm gonna make this work. <laughs> and we've had teachers that in the nursing profession taught us the meaning of the word why. Why are you doing this? Why do you wash someone that way? Why? We, we knew what why was. We knew the, word, the meaning of the word why. Like, why am I here? Why did I not stay at home? <laughs> why am I doing this course? But no, we've walked away with something better than this. And today I would love to leave you all with a quote. And when I was looking back for this quote, I stumbled upon a lot of quotes for success, you know, the really motivational ones, but I thought that would be quite hypocritical because 
a few reviewable property over the two months in Hayes Mount Roller. I'm not going to do this, I'm not going to get through this. I got to him yesterday. <laughs> but no, this quote comes, and I wish it was from one of the greater philosophers of our time, but it comes from a genius, J.K. Rowling, the genius behind the Harry Potter books. J.K. says, I think you have a moral responsibility when you've been given far more than you need to do wise things with it and give intelligently. Now, I'm not going to interpret this relating to money because we're all students here and student loans and debts are a real thing. But, and I obviously can't speak for all of us, but I can still aim this towards the current and future healthcare professionals in the room that carry nature, compassion, and empathy that brought you all here today interested in becoming a healthcare professional, give it freely, empower yourself. <clears throat> your colleagues from the work floor and every student friend you've got throughout your student life. Care for each patient and each other as if you're the only person that matter. Now, let's not look at the future anymore, but to now, let's just celebrate all the hard work that we've put in over the previous year that got us here together to work and come to graduate. Congratulations and thank you.